Hey everyone welcome back in this particular video I'm going to show you how you can set up modified evil genic so that whenever there is a username password or cookies are captured it will send to your telegram okay it's for easier access and by the way this video is only for educational purpose okay so without wasting time let's get into the video but I'll suggest watch this video completely at the end otherwise if you face any issue then you have to come back again and watch the video anyway so why not do in the first time okay so without wasting time let's get started so first thing you need is obviously the uh, server in my case i already got this server so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do ssh login here so command is ssh root at and my server ip address so let me just copy my server ip address and paste it right here okay now it should ask me for the password let me enter my password for the server and it should give me access to the server now let me clear everything now if i do ls right here can you see the evogenix 2 is already there so that is from my last test so what i'm going to do is i will say rm and uh, i will paste that particular name and dash r okay and that will remove the evogenix whatever i have on the server right now okay so right now my server is completely brand new okay so, so next thing i need to do is i need to open my github account to get the modified source code how you need to open the browser and in the browser type fluxet github and it should show my github profile in the top so click on that particular profile and in the profile can you see the evil genix 2 source code is uh, pinned click on that and this is the source code that by the way we need to download to use it okay uh, i will show you how to clone the github repository but i'll suggest like uh, if you want to support me in my process then please leave the star for this particular github profile and follow me on the github okay great uh, let me go here click on the code and copy this particular URL. let me go back to the my terminal and here i will type git clone and I will paste that particular repository. So that will download all of the code from the GitHub. If I do ls right now, can you see Avilgenix2 folder is there. So cd into the Avilgenix2 folder and do ls. Now here in my case, I have binary Avilgenix2, which is in the green. In your case, if it is not in the green, then what you can do is you can type chmod plus x and then name of this binary, okay? and if you hit enter it will add executable permission into the binary and your binary will take a turn into the green okay so in my case it's already green so let me just dot slash evil genix to run the evil genix and it should run the evil genix now this is the very first time we are running the evil genix so that's why this is error is there but we are going to fix it uh, right now what we need to do is we need to exit from this one and then we need to edit the evilgenix configuration okay so some people might ask where exactly the evilgenix configuration is so let me show you the path first nano nano is the editor then path is slash root uh, slash dot evilgenix and inside that there is a config.json file okay this is the file which is responsible for all of the configuration let me make this particular file bigger and here you will find the options now in the place of the domain i will put my domain which is 1yt.1 that's i'm going to use uh, in place of external ipv4 address what i need to do is i need to paste my server's ip address whatever the server i am using right now okay so uh, this is my ip address for my server let me paste it one more time okay now in case of the unauth url there is a default url of the github sorry youtube but you can add any url okay uh, in https port 443 is completely okay in dns port we need to add 5300 then in place of the chat id we need to add our telegram chat id and in place of the telegram token we need to add our telegram token okay so let me show you how you can get the chat id and telegram token for this you need your telegram ready so in my case i have my telegram here which is web telegram that i logged in first let's get the chat id so right now i will find chat id for my account how so in the search box you need to type get my chat id bot so get my chat id and uh, underscore bot okay 
that's the username of the bot so this is the bot okay so once you go into this particular bot you need to click on the start and once you click on the start it will give you your user id chat id and uh, whatever developer name is okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy this particular part which is chat id go back here and paste it now how we can get the tele token so it's a basically a telegram bot token what you need to do is you need to open one more time right here telegram and type here bot father okay so once you click on the bot father it will show you something like this you need to click on the start and it will start now what we need to do is we need to create the new bot and we need to find it's a bot api key and that we need to use as a tele token okay so how you can do that you need to type the new bot so let me click on the new bot it will say all right uh, a new bot how we are going to call it so that means we need to type the bot name right here so i'll say um uh, evil report bot okay evil uh, report underscore bot okay that is going to be my username for the bot okay so it looks like my username whatever i'm chosen uh it's saying it must end with the bot like this for example bot but our is also ending with the bot but with some reason i think it's not working so let me do one thing i'll say evil uh user report bot okay something like this and our bot is created now it will say done congratulations on your bot okay and here is that access token and whatever it is okay so this is the access token that we need so once i click on it it will automatically copy so i can go back right here and i can paste my token right here okay so once this file is completely done we can just hit ctrl s button and ctrl x button and we save the file once the file is saved we can start the evil Genix one more time okay so the evil Genix is started already and there is a one fishlet present with the name of the one that i have created for the testing okay so what we are going to do is we are going to use exactly same fishlet so let's go ahead and let's set the host name for the fishlet we will type fishlets hostname one and we will type uh i don't know uh test dot uh one yt dot in something like this oh uh, sorry one dot dot one that we need to type once it is done we need to type fishlets enable and uh, fishlet number which is one then we need to create the loads url so we'll say loads create and one okay now the loads url is also created now i'll say loads get dash url id number zero okay and let me get that particular url okay once you copy the url you need to go to the browser right here and paste this particular url as it is right here okay one thing that we forgot is when we create the bot we need to click on the this particular link which is t.me and there is a bot name right uh, whatever the bot you created once you click on that you can go here and you can click on the start okay then only your bot will be started okay so let's keep this bot running on the left side and on right side we will do login right here using the test account okay now here is a one thing that i need to do i will just open new tab and close this particular tab then what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the evil genix. Okay. So why I'm going to do that? There is a reason for that. Let me show you the reason. So first of all, get, let me get the lower URL. So I'll say, uh, get dash URL ID number zero. And that should give me URL. Now let me go to the new tab right here and let me enter this particular URL right here. Okay. And let me hit enter button. So as soon as I hit enter button, the session will be created. Okay so i will tell you why it is getting created okay so even i hit the enter button the website is loading the user not even logged in yet okay see the website is still loading the user is not even logged in yet still the session is created right here but the username is empty password is empty and can you see the cookie file cookie file is also has a size 0, 0.0 kb but that's completely normal just ignore it okay it is capturing live session so once you click on the login right here and once you do the login let me use this particular test account then automatically those credentials on the telegram will be updated okay you don't need to worry about that so once i click on the login right here 
it should automatically add the password and username and cookies whatever is captured on the telegram so can you see in the telegram the message has been modified and the username is added the password is added and now the cookie file size is 1.5 kb not only that if after this also if it captures the cookie it will automatically update the new cookie also okay so right now it is saying 1.5 kb that means few cookies are captured but if i keep surfing this particular website that cookie file size will increase slightly okay so i am not sure where should i click to get the new cookies but let's click on the new uh, topic right here and let's see if we are getting any cookie yes we just got one cookie and can you see it turned to the 1.6 kb okay so that means this is like smart kind of solution okay so once something new is captured it will automatically update that into the your telegram message also so that you will get all updated information not only that if user keeps using this the whatever the user where you are trying on uh, obviously for educational purpose if he he keeps using this after sometimes his cookie renews then also new cookies will be sent to the your telegram okay so that's the beauty of this particular modified version of the uh, evil genius but anyway let's do one thing let's test this particular cookie whatever the bot has sent to us okay so what we are going to do is we are going to delete obviously all of these cookies right from here close this particular tab and we are going to open the original website which is fluxet.com okay so let me type the fluxet.com and here we go this is the fluxet.com and we don't have login yet okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this download button on cookie file it should download once it is download let me open and once it is open i will copy all the cookies using control a control c and go to the this particular website right here which is the original website let me refresh one more time to show you it is not logged in let me go here and click on the import and paste my captured cookies and once i click on the import we should have the login session now it is not showing the login because we haven't refreshed it but after we refresh can you see it is showing this particular account right here okay that means we are logged in okay so yeah this is how modified version of the evilgenix works and i strongly suggest this or uh, use this only for educational purpose and if you want to learn it more then download my version and go ahead and do your own modifications and one more thing don't forget it to subscribe this particular youtube channel and like this particular video that so that it will reach more and more and next thing is give me star on the github that will help me grow my github profile also and if possible follow me on the github too right so yeah that's all for this particular video thanks for watching and see you in the next